Hello again. This is our fourth episode of AIC Quick Talk, our series of interviews with key leaders of the insurance industry in Southeast Asia. I'm your friend Junepo Campo from the Philippines, and today our guest will be joining us from Jakarta, Indonesia. She will talk to us on behalf of the Indonesian Life Insurance Association. Please welcome Miss Ellen Wati. Hello, Ibu Eli. How is the business atmosphere in Indonesia right now? Business atmo- atmosphere in Indonesia, uh, I can say that it's large, largely promising with, yes, we have specific challenges in terms of political, social, and cultural dynamics of the country. Uh, of course, uh, without regard to the challenge, I think life insurance industry is expected to grow earnings. The fact that favorable demographics in Indonesia and middle class populations are arise. So the business performance uh, of the life insurance industry in Indonesia, among others, actually is now impacted uh, mostly by fluctuation of the capital markets. So uh, especially because we sell a lot of uh, unit link kind of product. Hence, uh, we endure a slowdowns in the first semester of 2020 uh, as a result of the COVID pandemic uh, situations, which is, I think, experienced not only by life insurance, but it's also experienced by various industry. To, uh, so it's not only life insurance in Indonesia. However, you know, during this difficulty of times, we are actually, the industry continue to fulfill our commitment to contribute to the welfare of society. Um, and, you know, society emits uh, slowdowns and challenging situation. There are a couple actions that we have been done as industry. One, uh, we continue to pay COVID-19 claims uh, during this period of times, even though our government has declared it, it is a pandemic. So, when it's called, it's, it is a pandemic supposed to be borne by the governments, but in reality, actually, the industry agreed that we will pay the COVID-19 claims. And then also that uh, after a while, uh, talking to the uh, regulations, we are we really encourage digital innovation implementations by promoting adjustment to marketing procedure for investment link insurance product and we got the approvals from our associations, right? uh, from our regulator, which is that helped a lot for the industry. Because during the lockdown or semi-lockdowns, people are not willing to meet our agents, so that is helped a lot. And we also increase uh, focusing on increased number of agents uh, to continue supporting the entrepreneurship during economic uncertainty, because we know that um, a lot of um, people are losing their job uh, during this period, so we are focusing to do more recruitments of the agent to help them. So, considering the pandemic effects, uh, although we are being optimistic and continue doing our best, um, we are being prudent in setting the target for for this year, for the, this year, and hopefully, you know, the government relaxation of regulations will support the industry at least the same uh, attainment as 2019. So I think that is a brief review that I can give about the industry at the moment. Thank you for that update, Ibu Elin. Do you see any opportunity in this crisis? As they say, a crisis always brings opportunities. I think the uh, COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, this one is a very tough situation for all of us, right? So, so for our industry, this pandemic has an impact in operations because a lot of, uh, of employees are not allowed to come to office. So we have to do remote working efficient, efficiently. We have to serve our customer effectively through these times. And although that we, we are provide a lot of digital platforms and you know, non-face-to-face uh, client services, but uh, not every client are still feel comfortable on doing it, right? So uh, we have to find a new way on how we can expand the market. But in other hand, um, the opportunity that you ask is actually we see uh, raising on health awareness. So people are starting to have some sieve of trending lifestyles, you know, 
starting from implementations of clean, 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 clean. People are more clean, and then uh, people are searching for protections, life insurance uh, for protection, especially on the health insurance and the protection, pure protections. Right. So, I think this is the opportunity that uh, to broaden and deepen our people understanding about the importance of health and financial protections during this period. And this is where we think that the agent can play a big role. Right? So that's the reason why as industry, we are focusing a lot on continue recruiting agents. So to prepare to serve the needs of the consumer. So the consumer health awareness is increasing. So we need more people to tell them on how they can protect themselves and financial protections. Right? Um, and we believe that the recruitment of the agent, it will be not only useful for these situations, pandemic situations, but it also will be still used after the pandemic. And we also see that our manpower ministry actually say that uh, early on the second quarter of 2020, he said that already over a million workers actually from thousands of companies, both in informal or informal or informal sector have been called to stay home or have been laid off as a result of the pandemic. Right? So we, we see this actually, many of newly unemployed, unemployed workers come from industry that facing hit very hard, uh, such of hospitality industry and small business. So we see as a potential resources to joining our industry as an agent. So, uh, so the health, and, and uh, protections is increasing, awareness is increasing. At the same time, we see also the potential or opportunity to recruit more people to become an agent, right? So um, we see the opportunity and how we pursue the opportunity is actually our member come up with various innovations and increasing the use of digital technology during the pandemic by doing several things, right? So one is providing online help uh, consultations. I think that is very important. Second, digital processing claims is also very important so, on, so they doesn't have to come. And then develop partnership with technology companies in order to continue deliver excellent service to customer despite the limitations. Right? So I think um, the action bring good impact on technology company as well. So that's how we see it. Other than that, I think um, is very important is actually our our associations the AAGI facilitating the member with mobile system for agent exams and licensing so they doesn't have to come to a place to do the exams now they can do it through the mobile exam analysis those things sound really exciting Ibu Elin final question do you see any lessons here that we must all learn maybe changes in lifestyle or the way we do things that we must implement because of this crisis. Can you share any of any of these lessons with us? Yes. Yeah, so one of the big things that we see is actually the coronavirus is not excluded in the insurance uh, policy, right? However, as a manifestation of life insurance industry, we committed to improving policy welfare. You know, and invigorates the importance of health insurance. Many members actually from the association declare that COVID-19 is included in the protection and even give additional benefit to the customer. So I think public awareness for the benefit of life and health protection still need to be improved. So uh, it is our duty to continuously enhance the insurance literacy and support economic growth. So as an industry, that's I think is our responsibility. And as we endure the discomfort moment and shift focus uh, to human health, we, we can say that and socioeconomic concern, this is an industry as a whole is actually must undertake necessary action to survive. So it's, it's because we don't know how long it will be continued, right? So we have to find a way to survive. The key strategy for life insurance industry in dealing with pandemic is actually being adaptive with continuous improvement. Um, of course, it, it's easier to say it than it's done because we, we, we've been 
mostly the life insurance company is not a new company that can change this thing, right? but I think all of us have to keep adaptive with continuous improvement. So learning from the crisis and implementing uh, change um, to become you know, appropriately resourceful and flexible requires a seed in operational patterns, not, simply, not only you know, changing risk management plans, right? So the whole operationals need to be reviewed and need to be adaptive with the situation. So the COVID-19 will have per permanent consequences on the future, that's how we see it. Uh, for sure, it will accelerate the digital transformations in every division within the company. We like it or not. So COVID-19 is actually pushed us to go to digital. I think this is not only for the salespersons, but this is from front office, from the salesperson to the back office, and also from recruitment to the marketing. Right? So every everything has to be changed, has to be adapted with the digital. So we should see this as a key driver to operational excellence and the digital transformation. So no one can push us except the COVID-19 pandemic to push us to move to the digital transformation. So I think lastly, I think the, the collaborations is needed in transforming in this bit situation into something good. So we, we have to work together to pass this and to survive this. So I think that is um, um, the uh, lesson learned that we can can have from here. No one actually can push us to go to digital transformation as fast as this COVID-19 pandemic situation. Thank you, Ibu Elin. Indeed, you are right. This pandemic accelerated the industry's digital transformation. Thank you for your time. And I wish you and the rest of the life insurance industry in Indonesia the best amid, amidst this challenging and truly interesting times. Thank you, Thank you Jeanette. Thank you, Fabern. Let's see you. Stay Good. healthy. Okay, stay Bye. Healthy. Bye. That concludes our episode for today. Friends, I'm your friend, Junep Ocampo, wishing you all the best. Stay safe and healthy always. God bless you.